before the people kind of stepped in and asked the question like, um, how do activists thrive? After four years, four, three, four years of campaigning, if not more for other folks, it's exhausting. Um, and for this, for this organization to kind of think about this model, how can we actually support organizers to do this work uh, on their own terms with their own agency um, and not get pulled into something that uh, Sandra brought up earlier and today, which is the nonprofit industrial complex. We're right on that edge where we're really trying to provide sovereignty and agency to our organizers to do the work, to the organization as well, to stand on its own and, and really be movement based. Um, and it really is through the contributions and support of everyone around us. Um, lastly, I just want to just put a little note here that um, it's been five years. There's still so much more work to do. Um, we really do have a vision of, of continuing to imagine and build towards providing a, a financial stability and social like floor for our organizers so they can do the work, but also the vision of possibly growing this out so that other people can uh, be in this model. And I look towards, you know, not to put folks on the spot, but I'm like, oh my gosh, like looking at Lee and Moji and other people who are in this space and community, you know, have the power of, of a model like community supported organizing, what that could do to make the space an opportunity for our organizers who stay in this work longer. Looking at my own self, I didn't. I stepped back. I, I worked on other things. I, I built a worker cooperative because I needed to figure out the money game. But I'm just saying that models like this create opportunities that aren't there right now. And so uh, in the spirit of the teachings of Robin um, Kimmer in her book, uh, Braiding Sweetgrass, there's a chapter there about the honorable, har honorable harvest. Um, I wanted to make our intentions known that we're asking for your contributions today. Uh, so that the incredible work that you've heard about uh, from our presenters can continue and can grow. Uh, we're also asking uh, that you can contribute what you can. Um, and if you don't have the financial means uh, to contribute more, that's totally okay. We appreciate being in community with all of you. Um, and in return for everyone's contributions, uh, we give our deepest thanks and a commitment to keep doing this work to bring you all into it and to have a lot of fun along the way as well. Um, so our ask, our vision and hope today is to raise $10,000. Um, we're going to start today. We're going to keep pushing this campaign all the way through until the end of the year. But we want to kick off today. Um, and I'm, am I highlighted right now? Can you remove the highlight for a moment? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and if I wanted to invite people who are still on this call, if you can, to turn off or turn, sorry, turn your video back on. I just would love to see people's faces if possible. Fun invite, folks. Thank you, Shay. Thank you, Maggie. Thank you, others. It's really good to see everybody's faces as well. I know it's Saturday. We're almost done with our evening. Um, but to follow up, what I wanted to uh, offer and propose for everybody is uh, talking to our team. There's a lot that we want to do next year. And if possible, I would like to see a show of hands for people who are on this call right now who would like to contribute, uh, who would like to up their monthly contributions or give for the first time. I'm just so curious if there's anybody on this group who would be willing to help further this work a little bit and see if we can get a goal of 10 hands raised if possible. All right, I'm counting. I see Carter and Maya. That's two, Patch is three, Susan four, Jackie, five, Charles, Brett. All right, I'm losing track of hands right now, but I'm counting, I think we're at eight right now. I think I saw eight hands in total so far. I'm going over to the other screen just to see if there's anybody else. Gary, I see you, Doug. So, okay, I think we've already hit 10 folks. That is amazing. That really means a lot for us. To be very candid, uh, the pandemic has not been easy. And I've tried to remind our crew that it's not just us. It's a lot of community-based organizations where relations are at the heart of our work. It has not been easy. Uh, and so really all of your contributions really mean a lot. 